I just thought I want to show you how the tip of my ear is darker. So they even said, we burned your ear, so why don't you move? That's what I've been saying all along. So all along, I've been saying, and they're going to say, oh, what if something's in your teeth? All along, I've been saying that this was their point. They wanted to harass me so that I wouldn't move and take my business. They even said that they wanted to see if they could buy Cup of Java Productions. That's my whole point. As this happens and you guys are following along with it, you see the truth. So I'm going to tell you everything that they told me because they thought I was going to keep some things hidden. No, that was the whole point. This I came up with the title Mind Tricks because I'm going through all the different tricks they use. And so they said, we're going to quickly write a script so that we can look like we influenced you. That's my whole point. They care more about appearance than reality. And that's a mind trick in and of itself. So they said, why don't you talk about Gaslight? Because I talked about the movie before. I don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again because I originated this idea. They did not. So what they do is just keep repeating the same old tricks. That's a mind trick in and of itself when you keep repeating the same thing. So if this thing works, then do something just like it, then just like, no, no, why not come up with original ideas? Because they cannot. So um, the fact that they admit to burning me, that's what I've been saying. You can see on my hand that they burned me and you see it right there. So, okay, so let's go through some of the things that they're talking about. They said, when I was a little girl, and this I was only around this person when, a few times when I was very young, and they said that I made fun of an older relative who ate a big salad. I wouldn't have made fun of an older relative who ate a big salad because how would I even know? That's what I'm saying. The mindset of a child isn't the same as an adult. So they said that I was the one making fun. In their minds that... I think they feel like this, that this is the this is the mind trick that they do, that they can twist things from this would have been probably in the 80s to apply to 2023 as though hurting a child is OK if the child is bad. And that's what they keep saying. They said, oh, we wanted to convince you that you were bad or that this child was bad. And that's what I'm saying. There's some mind trick that they do where they feel that if something was bad, then it justifies this type of treatment. Nothing justifies this type of treatment. And I think that's a big mind trick. And it's a mind trick not only on the victim, but I think it's a mind trick on other people watching. Many years ago, and they keep yelling as you can hear, but anyway... Many years ago, I was on a bus and they said they wanted me to tell this story. And I don't tell a lot of stories anymore because that's how they're going to create their AI. But many years ago, I was on a bus and a mom, a young mom, had children with her. And she was yelling at the children. And then she took the little girl's hand that was on, you know, the metal rail. If you're in New York City, you know, there's like a metal rail behind everyone's head that you can hold on to and took her this and, sl and banged it down on the little girl's hand. And we were all in shock. It was that moment where you see such abuse that you're just in shock. That's my point. At what point do people look at a moment of abuse and say, you know what? There's nothing that someone can do to justify that abuse. I don't care how bad the child is. That was a moment when a grown up, she wasn't a young mom she was an adult, took her fist and banged down on the metal on a little, a little child's hand. And that was the moment when I, I, I saw what abusers do. That's abuse. So to say that as a little girl, I did something that made me bad. And now at 49, it's justification for this. That's who they are. The other story that they said is that... And I'm going to call this, it's not, that's a big, justifying things is a big mind trick. How people can justify things in their heads to make it seem like it's okay. And then get other people to go along with it. The other thing they said was that years ago when I worked at the phone company. Now I worked at the phone company probably from 97 until 2001. That some guy took computer courses so he can go on to be a technician. A lot of people did that. That was very common because in order to become a tech, you had to take the training to become a tech. You didn't automatically become a technician. Could you imagine just everybody automatically becomes something? No. So I don't get that story. Um, what was the other story they had? They Oh, um, 
in 2002, someone who was in training with me for a different job had a string on her, her leggings and she was like, she can't cut it because these are special leggings. And if you cut the string, the whole leggings would fall apart and someone would, she would take it to someone who could repair the leggings. I don't get that story. Um, there was another story. Oh, about whether or not my family liked Jamaicans or let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you my experience in 49 years. Every group within every group talks about every group. That's life. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So it doesn't even matter at this point. This is my point. In their minds, they feel that someone could do something or say something in passing and it means so much. It doesn't. That's, that is the difference between them holding grudges, trying to twist things, trying to justify things and, and reality. So does that affect anything? No. I mean, that's ridiculous. So they just said, didn't you date a Jamaican guy? I, I don't even understand how any of this makes any sense. But that's another mind trick to get me so upset that I become like, oh, my God, did I? I dated the Jamaican guy. Oh, my God. Huh. That was that's what they expect. That's another mind trick. So the, the, as you can tell, all of these mind tricks are a way of them justifying hurting me. It's the biggest mind trick ever to make the victim, meaning me, think I deserve this type of treatment. Here's another mind trick. Um, what did they say? Oh, they said, well, what about Throg's neck? Now we're worried about Throg's neck. That's my point. It's like they're coming up with all of this stuff to kind of confuse me and get me so worked up that I miss the subject. So they said, do you like two G's in Throg's neck or one? I prefer two G's in Throg's neck. I'm a 2G drugs neck type of person. But as you can see, if if all day they're talking and they're, they're just talking about all these different topics and trying to make it into something that would justify hitting me at night, hitting me with things, trying to change. They said, well, why doesn't your nose flatten? Again, this seems to me, it tells me more about them than it does about anything. As you can tell from what I've been telling you, and just to go through it, they're willing to justify abuse through any uh, story that they can come up with, to come up with a reason for abusing me. So they said, don't you feel that that is a reflection on you, that you, in, you allow this abuse? No victim allows abuse. That's the point. No victim allows abuse. And for them to think that any of these things that I'm telling you are shameful to talk about is part of how we got here. So I want to talk about, we went through the mind tricks. Let's talk about how these mind tricks were allowed to work until 2023. That's part of this issue. These mind tricks were allowed to work because we as a society let these mind tricks work. We stayed silent when we saw abuse. Instead, you, you know what would have happened if I had dared to, to abuse anyone? All hell would have broken loose that very moment. But we allow certain people to abuse other people because we think it's okay. And that's part of what I'm saying. Abuse is never okay. And if you have a problem, you don't hold a problem from now. I told you the story with the big salad. I might have been based on the story, maybe seven, eight, you know, like that would have been 42 years ago or 41 years ago. We're talking about if if there was a problem 42 or 41 years ago, it should have been addressed 41 or 42 years ago. It wasn't a story about me. And that's my point. They want to keep bending the truth to drag me into stuff. Okay. And that's where we're getting this confusion coming from. So they said, when did I become a West Indian? My family has been West Indian since the day my great grandfather came to Ellis Island. That's when we became West Indian. That's truth that they didn't know. But all of a sudden the experts and everything about me in my life. Yet they didn't know that simple fact. 
You want to know why the person who talked about the salad didn't know because his head is always in the wrong place instead of with his family. There were, this information was available from day one. How do I know? Because I sat and listened. That's how I know. So anybody who wants to badmouth my family and say we dislike this group or that, that's like that group, they weren't sitting around and listening. I sat and listened. So here is the biggest mind trick, that the knowledge I acquired over 49 years didn't come from people who know the truth. So there are many of us out there. So they said, well, you're all alone. I am not alone. I'm not alone. And they're suggesting I say, neither are you. That's who they are. They, 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 they can't have their own thing. That's another part of this. These people cannot have their own stuff because they can't function on their own. And that's part of how my family raised me to be an independent person, to listen, to listen. I sat and I listened to the stories. I sat and I acquired knowledge. And that's the recurring theme that I'm telling you. The biggest mind trick is that we can cheat and not acquire knowledge the right way. They said, didn't you want to one day get... um? When I was in high school, which would have been in the 80s and early 90s, I graduated in 91, so I call it the 80s. Didn't you one day want to get, um, what you call it, you know, the, the cheats when you read a book? We actually were told to get some of those. Why? Because they wanted us to look at the highlights. And that's my point. There are times in life when you have to look at the highlights and times when you have to read the whole book and they don't know the difference. That's the biggest mind game. Thanks for watching.